Hey folks, this is Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking, and tonight I've got a special guest with me. I'm talking to Ryan Leach. You're definitely going to want to watch the rest of this bike chat. Okay folks, yep, tonight is a, is a big one for me. Uh, I'm getting to talk to a, uh, a gentleman that I followed a lot longer than he might realize, my, uh, my new friend Ryan Leach. Ryan, thanks for being on Bike hey, Chat Hey yeah, tonight. super stoked to be here. Thanks for inviting me on. I know I keep saying, you know, you know, oh, I've known you for a while. I followed you. And this guy, and you're probably sitting there thinking, damn, this guy will say anything to get me on this interview. Why don't he just stop already? I said yes already. <laughs> but honest, I really have known you uh, in a sense for a while. I'm going to share my screen one more time over here for you. Um, and if Skype lets me do it, come on, Skype. Here we go. Click on start. I finally got this thing working. And hopefully now... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, dude. Look at that. No way. Okay. That's crazy. Let, let, let me let me let me paint this picture for you a little bit. Years and years ago, um, which makes us both old. Okay, when I say years and years, it doesn't change. Just you. It's picking on us both over here. I used to run a site <laughs> called Team Fat Bastard. All right, TFB Biking. Um, wow. Yeah, needless to say, I had to change the name to Regular Guy Mountain Biking because it was very hard to talk to companies when they said, oh, so who are you from? Team Fat Bastard. It just didn't help much with getting sponsors. <laughs> but um, I was at Interbike, and I was following you for a while, watching you do crazy yeah. stuff, riding trials on freaking chain links and stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> and I was with my buddy. I'm like, oh, that's Ryan. I got to go over there and give him a sticker. And cool. I had these stickers, and there you were. And like I said, it's not like I, it's not like I, I haunt you and hang out outside your house and look out your windows. But like I said, I've been a fan for a really long time. So when you, uh, when you said uh, it was cool and we could, uh, we could do this, um, not lying. I was like, you know, this is, this is pretty cool, and uh, I'm pretty psyched. So I've been a fan for a long time. And um, oh, this is this is good. So like I said, I'm a little little happy about this one tonight. And, um, <laughs> anyway, so folks, um, here's a deal. Um, most of the interview tonight is going to be talking about um, Ryan has a, a stellar uh, website out that it's all about coaching and teaching you how to ride um, ride and ride better and learn skills that maybe uh, you might thought be out of reach. And we're going to get into those in just a moment. But so, yeah, before we get into that, just a couple things so I can actually learn a little bit more about you. You do live up in mm -hmm. Canada, right? I mean, that's, that's, that's your, mm -hmm. right? Uh, yeah, out on the West Coast in British Columbia, close to Vancouver. Okay. You might have heard of the North Shore. Of course. And yeah. <laughs> that's, what, that's, what I, that's what I wanted so, to ask you about. I mean, it's, it's, so it's got, come up a couple times, yeah. <laughs> I've got gob, gobs of mountain biking here. It's just yeah, endless. It's just, awesome. I, you, I can't keep up with the number of new trails being built here is just extraordinary and super high quality too. I can't, I can't ride them as much as fast as they're being built. It's yeah. the reason why I even I'm asking this is because the style of riding you do, do you think mm -hmm. that because of where you live, has that played a big role? Or do you think that Ryan would have ended up like Ryan if we put him in, in the Bronx? Um, well, no, actually I would say no. Oh. I, I, I grew up, I was, I lived about 60 minutes from the North Shore. Mm -hmm. um, I did grow up close to a forest that had okay. some trails, mm -hmm. pretty basic trails like you'd find at any kind of park in any kind mm -hmm. of city. And I used to ride my bike through the park. And uh, I thought it was fun. Blast yeah. through puddles, get wet and muddy, and it was a blast. And But it was it was shortly after that I found a mountain biking magazine in the store and realized, oh wow, you know this is this is actually a real sport. You nice. know this is this is rad. I, I'm in. I'm in. Like this is. Mm -hmm. And it was it was sometime after that that I realized and discovered that oh man, I'm actually living in a mecca here. So gotcha. Yeah. So it just it just happened so to I think work that out. Happen yeah. I think I think that kind of initial seed could have been i could have been anywhere you know okay so, but, but and incidentally um i specialized in trials riding mm -hmm. which can be done anywhere you don't you don't That's need these point. beautiful trails um i mean it was awesome i got to ride them mm -hmm. but that wasn't what i spent the probably 99 percent of my time doing it was just practicing trials is this now i'm gonna i'm gonna pronounce this incorrectly Circus mm -hmm. Ole, Circus de Soleil. Uh, you, you, the uh, guys de Soleil. Whoa, that's way further away than I would have ever gotten it. Um, what What did you do with that? I remember something. Did you, you they talk, talk to you about some things or something like that? 
Well, I um, I was hired by them oh, to wow. perform in their resident show in Orlando, Florida, as a substitute rider mm -hmm. for the person in the show that had been injured, and it was okay. a very trials-oriented mm -hmm. performance. And the guy recommended me because you know there's only so many you know um, right. pro riders who right. could pull off the show, I guess. And so I got to perform with well, Cirque du Soleil. Which that's is amazing. Pretty cool experience. Well, and, and yeah. the reason why I bring it up is this, because not everyone's going to be able to connect with the caliber of what you, you can do, okay? Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people know that name. So the sure. reason why I bring it up is because, folks, you got to understand, um, they would never have contacted Ryan unless Ryan could have met their criteria. And that's important because when you take a look at these training courses that I'm going to show you in just a moment that, that Ryan has on his site, I just want you to realize that you're going to be taught by someone that is like at a level that's above where we may ever get over here. I mean, this guy knows what he's doing and other people respect his riding. And it's important for you to realize that because, you know, if you're going to go spend your time with a course, don't you want to know you're being trained by some, like, like when you go to college and you want to go to an instructor, you don't go to the schmo. You know, you're paying for a yeah. class. Well, wow, that instructor sucks. Make sure I get in that class. No, hell no. You don't <laughs> do that. So I just want you to realize, folks, that, you know, Ryan's got something to offer you. And it's going to be pretty cool. Um, but besides the training classes, uh, the training courses, you've been in quite a few movies, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was a big part of my career was mm -hmm. doing doing really cool riding tricks on interesting yeah. terrain to entertain people. Is there is there a movie like you ever think back and you look at it and like you got your little remote there and you rewind and fast <laughs> forward and go, you know, Damn, that was good. I don't even know if I could even do that now. I mean, that was oh, like yeah, I was no. on, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't think I, could do, I don't think I could do any of those movie parts right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, um, pretty insane. Man, yeah, it was, uh, yeah. I mean, this was all, most of my movies were before YouTube. So, mm -hmm. like, that was the, the bulk of my career. Um, yeah, all the cranked movies. Right. Um, Ride to the Hills and, mm -hmm. like, you know, it was a big, big bunch of, um, films that I did yeah, perform Yeah, the cranked in. ones, that's when I remember you from, because back, back then, like you said, it was really before YouTube really had much going on, uh, I had done movie reviews or movie, movie previews. Before the movie cool. came out, we'd get together, I'd rent out a hall, <laughs> and we'd all get everybody in there, and, you know, there you were doing your thing. And that's sure, where... So you've probably seen a bunch of my that's stuff. Yeah. Said, I'm not really a stalker, dude. I mean, I, I, I've <laughs> known you for a while because it's just, you know, um, once you get into this, you start knowing the people you like to follow. And... Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Cranked was one of the movies I, I had done the review on, and, uh, and, and you were there. And it's like, like I said, you watch it later on, you're like, wow, man, that's some crazy stuff. Well, <laughs> besides mountain biking, um, you're, you're, a, you're also a yoga instructor, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I, I started practicing yoga. I mean, it's, it's – uh, mountain biking is hard on the body, mm -hmm. man. It's just um, I started having all sorts of physical issues. My my I, my back was messed up, and my wrists and shoulders, and just like um, that was like when I was in like my early twenties, mm -hmm. mid twenties, and it's like this this is ridiculous. So um, <laughs> I started doing yoga, mm -hmm. and uh, and it was awesome. And um, and I just I traveled. Mm -hmm. probably a couple hundred days a year and so right. I always travel to the yoga mat and and it was really helpful that's um I decided you know I, I should I should become a, a yoga teacher so I can share the benefits that I've gained with other mountain bikers so you really feel that the yoga has actually helped you uh, maybe even prolong your career because it's oh yeah it's, yeah that's that's, totally. that's awesome that's awesome yeah, and well, it's not only it's not only just the the physical aspect. It's also the it's also the what's well, the the body mind connection. It's okay. it's my my rec, my my I I developed more intimacy with my body through practicing mm -hmm. yoga. I got to understand it, and that influenced my riding style and influenced how I rode mm -hmm. in a way that became more sustainable. Okay. Because my ultimate goal is to you know ride for as long as i possibly can you know yeah <laughs> and yeah. i was not on that trajectory like i was yeah. just mess i was messing my body up um ryan actually has some classes uh in his site 
around yoga. So what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to try sharing again. So let's keep our fingers crossed over here, my friend. I'm going to write. <laughs> All right, folks. So once again, a little bit of technical love over here. And what you're looking at right now is actually um, the, the Ryan Leach Connection. This is Ryan's website where you can go to. How did you get into this? You know, like what, what brought you to start something like this, which is awesome. Hmm. Well, you know, it's interesting. I, there's been a coaching thread throughout my entire career. When I was a teenager, I started coaching mountain biking, and I was actually involved in the 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 design, the curriculum design of uh, the West Coast School of Mountain Biking, which eventually became the Canadian Mountain Bike Instructor Certification Program, which is was eventually acquired by IMBA, and it's now an IMBA product. So, okay. so my my thread, my teaching thread goes way back, and you know, over those years, I, I hosted this skill tip segment in the Ride Guide TV show. I produced a oh. instructional DVD called Mastering the Art of Trials. And, um, and throughout, uh, throughout my career, I did things for magazines and stuff mm -hmm. and whatnot. And, um, and then, yeah, eventually I just like, um, started this website where I was just teaching, like sharing yoga videos. And then everyone was like, Hey, why don't you add some like mountain bike skill videos? And I thought, okay, yeah, that'd be cool. And, and then when I was on holiday, I just had this, um, those flashes of inspiration, mm -hmm. like it just, the vision came the 30 day wheelie challenge. Nice. And it just, it just hit me. I was like, I, the technology available now through video instruction is it's just radic radically transformed my, my, my teaching and coaching style because right. it used to be, I, I'd, I'd see people in person and I tell them, I just barf everything I know <laughs> about how to do a wheelie to them. <laughs> and um and they'd be like just like kind of floored with all this and yeah it's just like they were psyched but i mean right. in terms of translating that to actual mm -hmm. learning it just doesn't work like it just doesn't work learning doesn't work like that it's right. got to be gradual it's got to be done over time and so that's why i'm so stoked about this um this technology that i can utilize to design curriculums that are step-by-step -step gradual um progressions and, and so it started with the the wheelie challenge was really the seed ryan's been cool enough to give me access to his site which i i am so thankful for because there's like a ton a ton of stuff in here just like it's like well here you go here, here's your 30-day wheelie challenge that that you just brought up um a moment ago mm -hmm. which obviously um i'm gonna want to give that baby a try um but <laughs> you know i was going through this and you've got a ton of things in here but one of the things i really want to commend you on and i i'm going to scroll down to it um i was looking through this front wheel fun one um the level of detail that you've gotten into with these is is <laughs> It's not just a bunch of videos where, like you said, you barf up a bunch of instructions and, you know, catch it as fast as you can, folks. No, I mean, like you'd think, well, hell, everyone knows how to do this. No, actually, the way this is done is completely different. No, folks, don't just grab your front brake and pray. <laughs> There's a lot more to it. And when you go through yeah. this video, right, you break through every single step, Ryan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, that's the thing. I, I really want other riders to learn these techniques and skills. It's like, I don't, I don't want to like, <laughs> and, and I, and I do understand that it takes time and mm -hmm. it, and it's, you got to go from square one. And for me as a coach, like I just, I just, I got to get in the heads of the type of people that are taking these courses to better understand what it would be like to to tackle some of these skills and you know that's that's really what I do when I'm designing courses I, uh -huh. I start from scratch I, I don't do any research on other videos or other teaching styles I start from scratch get in the heads of the riders who are going to be taking it um, interview riders mm -hmm. and um, start start designing and testing progressions and I use a mantra when I'm designing all the courses, bike, body, mind. And th those three okay. elements are embedded into all of the content I create because the uh, the mental aspect is just so overwhelmingly underappreciated and underutilized and acknowledged. And it's mostly because most people don't know how to, how to train and coach that mm -hmm. aspect. And it's 
cru- it's crucial, crucial. Well, one of the things I wanted to ask is, um, okay, so now look, when you go through these different, like, okay, let's just take the front wheelie fun. Um, so look, dude, you've been doing this for years, okay? This is like breathing to you. This is muscle memory. Mm-hmm. You see something mm-hmm. you want to do and you just do it because you just know how to do it. Now, mm-hmm. that's great for Ryan, but now you've got a gene, a gene that doesn't know how to do this. How hard was it for you to transfer something that you simply just know by heart? This is just something Ryan does. You just see mm-hmm. the obstacle. You know how to do that. Now, you have to break it down to a guy like me that has never done it, doesn't know how to do it, and there are steps mm-hmm. that you're putting in here that you just do. How hard was that? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't as hard as, as you might think. I mean, because I was you at some point. Fair enough. Um, and you know, yes, I started younger. I started learning a lot of these skills when I was, uh, you know, 13, 14, 15 years old. So I had, I certainly had youth on my side, but still I studied videos of other pros Mm -hmm. and went out and practiced and then I'd study videos and then I'd practice. And so, you know, in, in one of these courses, I make a reference, you know, I consider myself more of a pro practicer than a pro mountain biker. You know, that's, Hmm. that's what I'm good at is practicing. Right. And so with with that, just just knowing and reflecting on my own process, Mm -hmm. learning Mm -hmm. skills and techniques, um, remembering my own frustrations and challenges, remembering, you know, the breakthroughs I had, you know, all those are all those are elements in the process. And not only that, but I have worked with a lot of riders one on one coaching, teaching, guiding throughout my entire career. And so so I, I, I know the type of language and the type of pace and the type of wording mm-hmm. and the type of analogies that can be um, digested by other writers. And um, and I also understand, you know, just the fact that our bodies take, like, w- mentally we might understand something and it might make sense, but physically it takes time for our muscles and, and tendons and, you know, to... Um, to to develop um, those movement patterns mm-hmm. to to tell our body, hey, you know, this is what we're doing. You better sh- ship shape up and, <laughs> and grow grow some new muscles, and um, and so they're prepped for you know the next phase, you know, the next drill, the next challenge that might be just a little tiny bit. Uh, you know, more demanding. Well, that's why I like that how you, well, it does. And that's why I like how you yeah. break these down. So, so simply, um, in fact, let, let me, let me actually open up if you don't mind this, this, uh, this, uh, this front wheel fun one. Um, and again, here, here's, here's why, um, when you take a look at this, um, see the reason why I wanted to open and they're all like this folks. Um, see, it's not just, one quick YouTube video of a guy showing you how to do something, figure it out. Um, right, Ryan? I mean, you're, you're actually breaking down mm-hmm. each mm-hmm. step. So just like you said, let's get your body ready for, you know, the the basics, rotating. Okay, now we got to start learning about this. Now let's talk about that. Um, you know, there's a lot here that you're showing us to make this happen. Sure, sure. Yeah. And, you know, this this course, this the Front Wheel Fun one is um... – yeah, that that one is well. It's, it's one of the fun ones. I mean, it's just it is fun. It's you know yeah. those kinds of moves are are, are a blast. And um, so I mean, this is actually a smaller course. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you have another one you want me to open up? Well, I mean, if you take something like um, the Bunny Hop Manual, for instance, I think you know one one of the things I I haven't been able to communicate is that something like the Bunny Hop Masterclass. You know, there's um, there's a lot of less. There's 33, wow. 33, 33 posts. Um, it's a gradual, you know, a full introduction. So this is more of a premier mm-hmm. course. Um, and, you know, a lot of riders might not think, okay, I'm not going to take this course because, you know, bunny hops are out of my, my league. Mm-hmm. Well, a beginner can tackle this course because I go f- through the basics like it's they can do the first few lessons in most of the courses that I produce because it starts from square one well I don't know if you've seen 
my video on me trying to learn this. And you know, we were exchanging emails, and you said something oh, yeah. happened. Yeah, I got, I got, I got hurt bad. Um, let's put it this way: I'm gonna go through this because you, 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 you laid it out there, man. You, you, if if you're saying a basic guy can kind of, figure, you're looking at one, or you know, right here, man, because I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I want to learn this so bad, and it'll be great for me to try this. But I just, I just, I bit off more than I can chew. I didn't start yeah. correctly, and I kind of paid the price for it, and got and got Shh. pretty hurt. But folks, I mean, this thing. Right, I mean, it just keeps on going and going and going with all these different steps uh, to learn. Yeah, about I mean, it, I mean, yeah, the butt buzz is kind of something I came up with, and you know, that's that's a super accessible skill for for anyone and everyone. Mm-hmm. You can click on it. You know, you, you feel free to share whatever. Um, but I mean, it's it's literally all you're doing, and it's still challenging. Mm-hmm. You're you're seeing how far back mm-hmm. and down you can get your butt and your challenge is to get it so it just scrubs on the tire gotcha and um you know seemingly simple but it, but challenging but you know a lot easier than just doing a bunny hop or, right. or just doing a manual so and who would have thought that that's connected to a bunny hop and a manual right i mean that see that that's what i got from the front wheel fun one when you showed us how to kind of jump back and actually stop the bike but with your motion moving backwards um it takes someone like you to connect these dots for us some mm-hmm. things that we might actually realize we already know how like okay i didn't realize i do some things like this when i go downhill because i want to like you know save my life sometimes so <laughs> you know I, I can connect these things this is this is yes. awesome yeah 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 exactly oh, i'm you so got stoked it. so stoked um so let me uh, let me go back over here what i want to do is show the folks uh now um each one of these courses they're separate courses, right? I mean, when you want to get into yeah. this, you um, you you purchase the ones that you feel are 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 interesting to you, and you start with there and grow and grow. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll through these, but that that is how it works. It's like your library would have the ones you add to it, correct? Well, there's two ways. Uh, you know, people can purchase a course individually. Okay. And and then they'll have that one course in their library. Mm-hmm. Where, whereas the other option and what what I've set you up with is an all access membership. So instead of paying once for one course to give you access gotcha. um, for however long you need, mm-hmm. this is a you pay monthly. So it's a cheaper amount you pay each month, and then you get access to everything. Ah. And uh, and so that's um, that's actually what I prefer and what I encourage because. Um, because there's a lot of cool ways that each of the courses connects. Mm-hmm. Um, because I am including all the physical fitness stuff, you know, all the yoga classes, Pilates sessions. You know, there's stuff from my trainer in there, um, and so it's a nice variety of of courses and classes that I cross reference. So, mm-hmm. um, and it's a really great community as well. Like you might have seen on the on the Facebook group. You know, that's just for for the members. So right, that's just something I wanted to also ask. And you offer more than just these courses. There's an entire community you've opened up for people to uh, even talk to each other. Right? I mean, I already had one guy mm-hmm. I was chatting with a little bit back and forth. Um, mm-hmm. So I can go there. Anyone can go there. That 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 is part of this program. And post questions that you'll actually be able to, to help field and help people with there. Yeah, you got it. And oh, and wow. actually, you know, if you click on you know click on any of these. Um, classes so there's two you know big big part of what i offer is the ability to ask ask questions so if you you know scroll down a little ways and you click on one of these um one of the lessons maybe not the intro lessons but um you know here we go um here front wheel lift yeah so like yeah there'll probably be a few comments if you scroll down so people can ask comments or ask questions in the comment section for each for each lesson, mm-hmm. um, and so ah, there you go. yeah, there's, so people can ask a question, then then I reply to the question. So so you can actually ask questions at the course specific level, and then yes. there's also the Facebook community where people can just 
talk, right? Um, right. About yes. anything, uh, maybe about totally. these courses if you'd like, but also just like, hey, Ryan, um, you know, I need to get a set of pedals. Can you help me with an idea of what I should go with? Um, or, or just, hey, anyone in so and so area that wants to get together and ride? Like, you're actually trying to put together a community more mm-hmm. uh, that people can talk and, and chat with. Yeah, exactly. It's cool. You know, it's 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 it is. You know, I it's it's a it's a really supportive mm-hmm. community. Yeah, and one of the cool things is, well, you kind of pay to be in it, mm-hmm. and it it does keep out, you know, right, you know, quotes the riffraff and keeps the quality of conversation yeah. high, and um, there's no sort of extra garbage mm-hmm. <laughs> mixed in. And well, no, so, that, that makes a lot of sense. So for skill learning, it's, um, you know, which is the focus, it, it's really nice to have. Uh, and also a lot of these, a lot of these riders have been through a lot of my courses. So mm-hmm. they're also able to, to pitch in and say, Hey, you know, you might want to go back to this lesson or uh, do a refresher here. Um, so it's actually, it's, it's, I'm so inspired actually by, by the riders. And, you know, for me, that's fueling a lot of the, the energy and, and kind of stoke that, that I'm then, you know, putting back into new courses that I designed. So, um, hey, let me ask you this. Um, Mm -hmm. What courses can we look forward to seeing soon? Can you let any cats out of the bag over here for us? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, well, there's two, two, two courses. One, one is um, the cornering continuum. I'm on that list. Yep. Oh, cool. So that one is, um, yes, it's it's, it's a new way to approach coaching corners Mm -hmm. that, you know, in, in my opinion, does justice to the just massive variety of cornering situations that riders encounter and sort of provides some, some, some context and some theory to better understand, okay, what the hell is actually going on when you're (laughs) doing a corner? And and why, why is it like that? Um, it breaks my flow instead of, you know, um, harnesses and inspires it. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's a pretty big project. I'm trying to get it gotcha. launched and available by the end of this year. Okay. And then I'm also trying to get a, a course ready for Christmas. That'll be a, a free course. Okay. Um, I've got a couple free courses. There's, mm-hmm. um, there's the yoga for mountain bikers, which is a free product you can get on the site or fun and easy bike tricks is a, a okay. free course. Oh, people, cool. you know, people don't need, they can, they can sign up and join and, and get inside the site to, to go through those courses so mm-hmm. you create an account and and gives gets gets you access so um but it's so this this free one for this year that i'm hoping to have as a gift for christmas is um i'm tentatively calling it the flat pedal pledge okay and and there's um there's a I, i'm an advocate for riders to use flat pedals in some you know i, I use them full time okay i mean it's not it's not um I'm not like a flat pedal Nazi saying that this is the right. way, mm-hmm. but in terms of learning, there's mm-hmm. a lot of gifts that flat pedals can provide in terms of inspiring the most effective use of your body okay. to perform a skill. There's no chance of shortcuts or workarounds um, when you're using flats. You you have to move your body mm-hmm. in the exact correct way. And so this course gets gets into that. It, nice. it supports riders through the process of switching from clipless to flats for long enough okay. to experience the benefits. At which time, of course, mm-hmm. you know you switch back and forth. You, you go want. back to clipless. You know whatever whatever works. Right. But um, there's a lot of really cool things to to learn and understand about flat pedals. That yeah. um, is there one that you had the most fun making. What's what's the what's the video you had the most fun making in your course? I'm sure they all were awesome. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> folks. They're all going to be uh, great, but it's probably one you liked a little more than the other. Yeah, it's a good question. Oh man, which one has it been? Like, actually, I've got I've got a course called Logs and Ledges. Okay, that's um, only available in in the membership site. There's a, there's a bunch of stuff that's kind of just just available in the membership site, and so that one's kind of partial to me. I'm, I'm I I I love getting over obstacles okay. and and sharing some tips and strategies for doing so mm-hmm. um so yeah that that that's a fun one <laughs> i had some fun with that so i don't know it's all it's all fun man it's, yeah you're riding your bike right yeah yeah well i'm gonna ask you so i'm gonna go t- start taking some of these things 
And let me ask you, what are our chances of doing a follow-up review maybe later on, a couple months? Remember, it's winter time over mm-hmm. here, so I'll only be able to do so much yeah. of it. But I'd love yeah. to be able to do this and, and show you what I'm doing. We'll do another another uh, bike chat later on. I'm, uh, plus, I know people are going to love this, and they're going to say, wow, I want to talk to this guy again. Oh, cool. Well, yeah, totally. And, and you know, maybe we get more into some specific questions, skill yeah. questions that I can address and, mm-hmm. and sort of talk through that, that might be be beneficial for some of your your fans and listeners and and viewers to uh to tune into yeah um and i will recommend um checking out the baseline balance skills course because okay. that's a course that you can do you can do in your driveway at home you can do it like on the snow whatever if it's like as long right. as it's not icy but you, you can pretty pretty much do it um have you got a fat bike up there in the background? Yeah, is that, yeah there's is a fat that, bike. Is that a mid no. fat? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah no, it's, so. it's 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 a full fat. It's yeah, hey, man. yeah, hey man. Nice. Yeah, I like. So yeah, no, yeah. go go play on. Yeah, I mean, work through. I would say I'd 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 love to hear how that course goes for you. Okay. I mean, maybe maybe you've already got those skills dialed, but um, there's let, a few let, challenges in there. Let let's let's go with um here. And we'll work from there, okay? We'll start because you know what? Like I said, after I watch some of these, I don't care what I may or may not know. I'm going to go through these like I know nothing, because right. I'd rather start yeah. looking at like that. So that actually brought up something else that I, that I forgot. So what? Which courses do you recommend? Like, let's just say, okay, fine. I, I do the twenty dollars a month. Fine, I think that's a great deal. Um, but now mm-hmm. I'm like, I want to know it all. So mm-hmm. is there is yeah. there a progression you recommend people to go through first? Mm-hmm. It's um, it is. It is self serve, uh-huh. like the membership. When you do get a membership, it is you, you are choosing what you want to work on, and mm-hmm. once you choose what you're going to work on, then of course I've got I've got it outlined for you to gradually work through. Mm-hmm. It seems that baseline balance skills complements, um, say, the wheelie challenge, or okay. complements um, the manual master class. So you can kind of do a bit of both. Mm-hmm. So you can you know go out for a practice session. Say you've got half an hour before dinner, and you just want to get out on the bike and practice something you know you, you pull up um you, you know watch watch a video from baseline balance watch a video okay. from wheelie challenge and you and you go out and you sort of alternate between those two drills okay that makes a lot of and sense and then you, you get a great workout you, you know you, you develop some new skills and um and then you move on to the to the next lesson right. the next day that's awesome so yeah well, that's I'm excited. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of great stuff there. I, I know the folks that are watching this are going to be interested in it. Um, I'll probably have to email you some questions because people are going to be writing oh, questions. Please. I know they're going to want to know more stuff about you. One of the things I always like to ask folks, um, so what, you, you're in the bike industry. You, you're a huge part of the bike world. When mm-hmm. this is all said and done, what would you hope people remember Ryan Leach for? When in in respects to, to to biking, like what what do you want mm-hmm. to think? People, like people are gonna say Ryan Leach did boom for riding. What what do you mm-hmm. what do you want that to be? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If we wow, go to Wikipedia yeah, a... and we look up Ryan Leach, what are you hoping they said I'm there for you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean it's um really really just you know at, at share sharing sharing this passion for the sport. Awesome. I mean really what it comes down to is um you know it's um it's i i'm in a very fortunate position to to like you said have have these skills Mm -hmm. to have been able to to make a career out of having these skills and then to have the opportunity to share them Mm -hmm. and so now i will add one more bit of specificity to that is the opportunity like watching pro riders is one thing you can kind of see what they're doing you can right. see the cool moves and you know that's awesome so that that is progression people see that and then they they iterate upon it or they see it and then you know they practice some moves and, and that's awesome um but the whole that's objective and so it's the subjective side of the sport that i really want to mm-hmm. be um, cause that's where it's missing. That's what's missing is the, the mental fitness aspect of the sport, like to be, to find ways to talk about, um, fear, frustration, mm-hmm. risk, to be able to talk about skills like visualization, to have breathing exercises that right. actually are massively important, way more than 
probably anything else, but to actually have ways to practice and integrate that into mm-hmm. your writing and into your practicing. Um, just the um, whole flow, the topic of flow and being in the zone. Sure. I mean, these are these are the magic moments that are so mysterious, but are the root of our sport. That's awesome. And so that is really what I'm most passionate about. And so um, that's you know, fueling a lot of this effort and work, um, on this website. Well, you can see that through your videos. They're, they're high quality. They're awesome. Really dude. I mean, kudos. I totally want to commend mm-hmm. you for them. Um, I'm psyched, uh, folks, you got to check out, uh, Ryan's website. There'll be links down below so you can click into there and, and take a look at them. Um, but, uh, dude, I got, thank you so much for, for mm-hmm. getting on bike chat tonight. This has been so mm-hmm. much fun. I, I've had a blast. It's, this has been good. I get to talk to a guy I've been following for a while. Um, I'm stoked. Thank you so much for being on bike chat tonight. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I love your vibe and I love your stoke and enthusiasm. <laughs> I mean, really that's, that's, um, having these connections with other riders is, yeah. um, man, it's, it is, it, it, right. it adds fuel, man. Yeah. It, it's, 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 <laughs> I mean, um, doing this YouTube channel is, is, is a lot of work. And um, it's like when yeah. I get a comment and someone says something cool, it makes me happy. So I, I know what you're saying um, to do all the work you're doing for the training and have someone like like get it. You're like, mm. damn, it was it was worth doing it. It was worth doing. Yeah. It. Well, look, cool. you well, rock, man. Thank you so much. I will definitely be in touch with you. And um, folks, Ryan Leach, thanks a lot, man, for being on the show. Thanks, Gene. See you next time, bud. Bye, buddy. All right. Ciao. And this bike chat backdrop was provided to us by Four Wheel Drift off of Instagram. Thanks a lot, my friend. Remember, folks, if you'd like to see your picture on a regular guy mountain biking video, just tag us, RGMTB, let us know, and we'll try to get you on one of our videos. Thanks a lot.